Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and as you may or may not know, Microsoft just announced the new Office Suite for iPad. It includes Word, PowerPoint and Excel, but I'm going to give you a quick first look through Microsoft Word for iPad. Now obviously it's something that many, many people have wanted for a long time, but for some now, with all the other options available on the App Store, it may seem a little bit like too little too late, but there's still obviously the bonus of having compatibility with other users who use Microsoft Office in their daily work and school lives. Um, so in that regard it's great, it's a free download, but if you want to edit documents using Office for iPad you do have to subscribe to Office 365. So when you open it up you do get our straight away if you want to sign in. So once you've signed in, like I said, you get the option to view it for free or you can buy the Office 365 Home. Now on this next screen, once you've signed in, it will ask you to buy a subscription, which obviously on the iPad, on iOS, with iTunes, it's an in-app purchase and it's a one-off fee. But on obviously on the Office website, you can actually sign up to pay monthly and then say that you already have a subscription. If you already have a subscription, when you load this up, I've already done it so you won't see that now, there's a little button in the left hand corner over here that says activate. You press that and it automatically discovers that you have a subscription and you can then start to create documents. So if I go into a new blank document, you'll see you've got a really nice clean user interface. The, almost the entire portion of the screen here is entirely blank and you've got the really useful tools on the top like your font selector, your font color. Uh, bold italic underline and then obviously you've got all sorts of other stuff like justifying your text making it fill the screen or left center right you can also insert various things including pictures shapes text box hyperlinks so let's have a quick look at how this works we'll get typing and we'll just give you a quick run through now like i say this is a first look so i have not used this before and we'll see how it goes. I've got a wireless keyboard here, so let's go. So you'll see here you've got your text if I press and hold and then I select and I can go across as you would with anything for iOS and then you can hit bold or you can use keyboard shortcuts if you've got a wireless keyboard I believe you can just use keyboard shortcuts command and B will bold the text you can see that there um, you can also, if you wanted to, um, let's see if you can create types of text like headings. Um, let's have a look here. And you can change the style. So you've got obviously your normal, you've got heading 1 and 2. You've got your heading there now, it changed the color. You can change the font if you want to. Select all, let's change the font font size let's go 12 and we'll change the style um, doesn't really matter let's go with Microsoft so it's very easy to use if you want to create a bullet point you can do you just select the bullet points here and you can change the type of bullets you can have tick marks or you can have just the usual bullets um, list one and you can see it is very familiar, it's very clean and honestly just by looking at it and the way it's laid out and the ease of use that you have, it does for me seem a lot better option than Pages. Not just because of the layout, you've got the compatibility issue as well which a lot of people still have to deal with, especially if they rely on a lot of documents for their work. Now I can select a picture, I can add anything in here that I want. Um, so let's go with something like this and you can see you can move the picture around to wherever you want it you can resize it uh, you can rotate it's very fast very fluid and it does the job very well you can wrap the text around it if you want to you can do all sorts of things you can even add a shadow onto the image and you see that's got a shadow on it now or you can add a reflection and you've got a reflection. So it is a very powerful, very easy to use tool. So that is that. If I go back, you can see this is your file manager. You can save it and then it appears in your local file. You see you've got the document saved locally, but you can also share it or move it to the cloud and then it will go into your OneDrive.
and that is that. It's a really nice app, and I know with my wife, she uses Microsoft Documents all the time, and so this is going to be fantastic for us as a family. You can have it installed on a few different devices, and obviously there are other Office apps available as well. Let us know what you think of Word. Is it something you're going to start using from now on, or do you think it's a waste of money? Give me your thoughts in this section below where all the comments go, or you can get me on Twitter. I'm at TIP underscore Cam. I'll see you again soon.